February 2007 was the last time the Bank of Japan hiked its interest rates. Haunted by the lost decades which started in the 90s when Japan's economy went into a lengthy period of stagnation, the Japanese Central Bank had only been cutting rates. In fact, interest rates in Japan had been in the negative since 2016. Today this has been reversed. The Bank of Japan has ended their negative interest rate policy and hiked rates for the first time in 17 years. This marks a historic shift away from the aggressive policy that they had adopted all these years in a bid to fight chronic deflation. While the rates have been increased after a long time, it's still stuck around zero. It has been raised to 0 to 0.1% from minus 0.1%. This because while the economy is starting to look up, it's still fragile and the central bank is going slow in any further rise in borrowing costs. But it's not just the interest rates by themselves. Japan is finally on a tentative path to policy normalization. This because the Bank of Japan has also ended some other unorthodox policy measures that they took over the last few years to try to bring back growth through decades of massive monetary stimulus. In 2010, the Japanese Central Bank began buying risky assets like exchange traded funds that is ETFs and real estate trust funds that is REITs in order to defeat deflation and pour money into the equity market trying to increase risk taking. Right now, the Bank of Japan owns about 475 billion dollars of the country's ETFs. Reducing these would help the bank normalize one of the most unorthodox parts of its policy regime, but of course it could also affect the stock market which has just hit a record high. Now the central bank has said that it will stop purchasing ETFs and Japanese REITs and slowly reduce purchases of corporate bonds as well. Another big change is happening. In 2016, the central bank also set a yield curve policy in which it basically bought Japanese government bonds to control interest rates and introduced some targets and limits. Now this policy has been abandoned in the sense the targets have been abandoned. However, the Bank of Japan will continue to buy roughly the same amount of government bonds as before and it will ramp it up if the bond yields rise too fast. Analysts expect that the Bank of Japan will eventually start slowing down bond buying. The main stimulus for these new measures is a jump in wages and rise in consumer prices that is inflation. A few days ago Japan's biggest companies agreed to raise salaries by 5.28%. That is the biggest wage hike in over 3 decades. Wages in the country had flatlined since the late 1990s even as consumer prices rose very slowly and even fell. The return of inflation in Japan a monster which other countries are running from could spell both good and bad news for them. It would be good if Japan can stimulate productivity and domestic demand. It would be bad if inflation stays externally driven due to wars and supply chain disruptions. But this along with the Nikkei index recently hitting a new high surpassing the record set 34 years ago shows that Japan may just be on the path to relative normalcy after a long long time. that is at least somewhere in line with how global trends are affecting other countries